So, good day everyone. I am the representative of Group 5 Carbonate and we will be discussing the molar heat of vaporization. So, to start off, molar heat of vaporization refers to the energy required to vaporize one mole of a liquid. It measures how strongly molecules are held on the liquid. Furthermore, it is determined by measuring the vapor pressure of a liquid at distant temperatures. And now, to know more about that topic, our group has three objectives. The first one is to determine if the molar mass affects the vaporization of the liquids. The second one is to find out which among the four liquids evaporates the fastest. And the third one is to investigate the relationship between the molar mass, intermolecular force, and the vaporization of the liquids. For the materials that will be used in the experiment, we have thermometer, beaker, hot plate, foil, timer, mask, lab gown, and of course, the four liquids that will be used in the experiment, which is alcohol, water, acetone, and hydrogen peroxide. So for the procedure, first one is the acquisition of materials. Second one is the transferation of 50 ml of each liquid to their respective beakers. After that is measuring the initial temperature of the liquids using the thermometer. Note that have a group member record the data. To prepare the hot plate to be used, cover the top with aluminum foil and secure it. Turn the hot plate to medium heat. Place one beaker on top of the foil. So, based on the experiment of our group, initially the plan was to place a beaker one at a time. But due to the limited time allotted for the experiment, the group decided to place three beakers on the hot plate simultaneously. Next one is to position a thermometer on each of the beakers with a group member holding it down. Remember that the thermometer should not be touching the base. Next is to have a group member use a stopwatch to record the time the instant the beaker was placed. The data are recorded during the time intervals 5 minutes, 8 minutes, and 10 minutes. Repeat this process with the other chemicals. Turn off and unplug the hot plate. And finally, clean the materials used as well as the area the experiment is conducted. Here's the table of the data gathered in our experimentation. To break it down, the initial temperature of the liquids, acetone, hydrogen peroxide, isopropyl alcohol, and water are 24 degrees Celsius, 26 degrees Celsius, 23 degrees Celsius, and 26 degrees Celsius respectively. After 5 minutes, the temperature of each liquid rose significantly. Their new temperatures were 60 degrees Celsius, 91 degrees Celsius, 80 degrees Celsius, and 80 degrees Celsius. And after another 8 minutes, their temperature became the following. 61 degrees Celsius, 99 degrees Celsius, 81 degrees Celsius, and 98 degrees Celsius. Lastly, as the timer hit the 10-minute mark, their final temperatures were the following. Acetone of 61 degrees Celsius, hydrogen peroxide of 98 degrees Celsius, isopropyl alcohol of 81.5 degrees Celsius, and water of 97 degrees Celsius. For the boiling point of the liquids, acetone attaining the fastest boiling point for approximately 2 minutes, while the hydrogen peroxide attaining the slowest boiling point with approximately 5 minutes. In conclusion, the molar mass does not affect the vaporization of the liquids, but instead it affects its intermolecular forces. Based on the data that was gathered during the experiment, the values of the heat of vaporization are related to the strength of the intermolecular forces. The higher the intermolecular force, the higher molar heat of vaporization, resulting to a slower process of vaporization.
The four liquids are capable of hydrogen bonding except for acetone, which is why it was the fastest to evaporate. And as stated earlier, it is followed by alcohol, water, and then hydrogen peroxide. Throughout the course of the 10-minute period, out of all the substances, hydrogen peroxide is the slowest amount of vapor and the highest boiling point, implying that it possesses a stronger intermolecular force. Acetone, on the other hand, has the lowest intermolecular force due to its low boiling point and large vapor content. For the other material, they are in between hydrogen peroxide and acetone. Now that you have watched our experiments, here are just some of the keynotes that our group would like to meet. First one is that high molar mass means lower vaporization. If the molecules have very different molar masses by a factor of 2 or more, then they have very different London force strength. In this case, the one with a much higher molar mass will have the strongest intermolecular force overall. Another one is that higher boiling points means lower vapor amount. And this also indicates that that has the strongest intermolecular force. And we are... Group Experiment! Yay!